quit a day. We've had a good day, but we are pretty tired. I always look at Katie in the face. Sorry about that. We're getting in the car, and what a perfect time to do driving in the south. So I will hand the phone over to you, Katie. I painted my nails. Oh, I never paint my nails. I know it's tough. It's real tough. Look at the fingers. Don't mind my dirty car. Look at the fingers. You got like little troll feet, are those? Yeah, like troll toes. The <laughs> troll toes. Mwah. Give me kisses. Mwah. Mama loves you. Okay. We're off like a turd of hurdles. Like a turd of hurdles. This isn't working for me. <laughs> you got the bad end of the stick, having to hold all of it. Mm-hmm. This will be a driving in the south, and it may be shaky because I got this dog on top of me. Say right. hello, Nagy. We're doing our best for y'all. We are. It's kind of the end of a long day, but that's okay. We are hanging in there. This will be an interesting one, guys. But I don't even have a video for tomorrow. And as you know, we do the driving in the south videos a lot, and we enjoy doing them. So I told Katie, we need to do a driving in the south because I have no video. We're filming this on, on Friday, and uh, it will be Saturday by the time people are seeing this. Tomorrow! Tomorrow, so I said, let's do a drive in the south. Comment below, everyone listen, this is important. Comment below topics you would like to see us talk about in driving in the south videos. Let us know what you want to hear us talk about when we're driving, when we're on the road. In the south. <laughs> in the south. All right, Corey. What are we talking about today? Yeah, Katie does not even know today's topic. We get pulled out here. I can't, I cannot see you. Too well don't go. You definitely don't go. Sometimes I sit here and think, uh, my you're clear my way. Fail. If your brakes, brakes were, to, were fail, to fail, I would die. I would go for the emergency brake. No, see it. Today's topic is going to be the topic that I made on the community post a few days ago which is if you had a time machine that would only go backwards or only go forwards which direction would you go I asked everyone to answer that all the viewers and I got a lot of response which I uh, we appreciate and most people said that they would go backwards but there was a lot of people who said they would go forwards and there was a lot of people and this kind of surprised me who said that they would not go anywhere that they just wanted to stay where they were at because the present is the only time you have and I, I totally agree with that. I think that that is uh, super smart. I'll go first. If I had to pick, would I go backwards or forwards? I think y'all already know what I'm going to pick if you've been on the channel. I'm going to go backwards. I have lots of reasons of why I would go backwards. I'm not going to have time to share them all, but I will share a few. I would go backwards, if anything, just to get to visit with loved ones that have passed away in my lifetime. Uh, my grandpa, my friend David, but the people who passed away, like my great grandparents that I never got to meet, I did get to meet, we did get to meet our great grandma on dad's side. But I would go back to get to see loved ones that I've never got to meet. I would love to go back. Of course, there's certain famous people I would like to meet, most of them just country musicians. Uh, I just like the pace of living that was before me that was simple and slower and you didn't have so many devices and technology and screens and so many things to distract you and so many things that are just trash for your mind basically. Uh, not to say that we don't use screens or watch TV because we all do but back then that wasn't a thing. Uh, back then, I think in some ways people were healthier because they grew their own, own food, they harvested their own meat. Uh, and the time was just different. Things were simple, and I would I would want to live on a prairie somewhere or in the mountains somewhere in a cabin, just having to kind of do everything to affect my survival. That kind of lifestyle appeals to me, and I think I would kind of be better suited for that. I get overwhelmed easily, and I'm kind of like a little squirrel most days, and I think that I would be better off with kind of a slow pace, very quiet kind of lifestyle. And it's funny because if you've been on the channel, you know this, Katie and I both, we like all the old stuff. And, it, and when I say old, I, I need to like give a time frame. I mean, if I could go backwards, there's, I hope that this time machine would have multiple stops. I would like to see multiple decades, <laughs> multiple decades. Uh, when I'm talking about back in time, I'm even thinking about the seventies or eighties, which that's going to make so many people laugh because they for were. them, that's not back in time because you lived it. But for us, 
we were born in 96, so we didn't live that. And I think that there's been so many changes since 1980 or 1970 until now. I just want to know what it's like. I want to hear what my parents talked about and, and get to live that and see what it was like. Because now with the cell phones, which is awesome, I'm filming on a, we're filming on a cell phone. And that's how we're getting content out there. And that's how you can see anything in the world and, and talk to anyone in the world. And it's awesome, but we're glued to them. And I think about, even when we were kids, smartphones were not a thing, but especially our parents, you just didn't have that option. And you weren't just constantly have had a device in your hand. It just makes you worry more because it's a link to, oh my gosh, I'm getting a car. Is that my grandma or someone hurt? I don't know if anyone else does that besides me, but... I would be interested in going back. What about you, Katie? Backwards or forwards? You can only um, do one. Well, I think the very idea itself of traveling time, it, you know, even obviously we can't do that, but pretending, I think it's really interesting that most people, a lot of people, I think the common reason of why they wouldn't say let's go forward is because we don't know what happens in the future. We know what happens in the past because we've already done it, because we've already been told about it. So of course, for that very reason, I'm like, let's go backwards because I already know what's gonna happen. You know what I mean? It's not like the scariness of the future of like what's out there, you know, is there gonna be a, another natural disaster or whatever. Of course, for me, it would be a no brainer. I would go back to being like, I don't know, 19 in like 1975. I mean, that would be great. And the reason I say that is because I think a lot of people of my generation kind of have that nostalgia. It's really the nostalgia that belongs to their parents of that time frame of growing up in the 70s and the 80s and what that looked like. And I think it's also tempting to always say what, is, what was before is better. And my mom and dad probably had the nostalgia of their parents, which would have been even before that. And to quote a Travis Tritt song, the song says, I wish I could turn the clock back to the way my daddy said it was before. And I think that that yeah. hits the nail on the head. And that doesn't exactly refer to a specific time as far as like 70 or 80 or anything. That just groups this sort of feeling um, that's kind of centered around living that they experience, that we did not experience, that is gone. And I'm not trying to be negative, but will not, uh, I'll say it again, will not be back unless there's a major shift but, in things. I agree, but... Oh. You're giving me the side on. But I would like to go back to them because guess what? It would be fun to see my parents when they were young. It would be fun to see my other family members who died before I ever had a chance to meet them. And we all know I would go back to a REO Speedwagon concert. But I also want to say, because I know there's going to be people who comment this, and I hope that you've made it this far into the video so you can hear me address this. Also, the camera's like super shaky, and you just have to understand this dog is giving me a run for my money. Yes. Oh, I do want to say we love our lives. It's not that we hate our lives. It's not, oh, we have to go back because we desperately hate where we're at. And it's relative. We're looking backwards saying, oh, that was so cool. But there's things that are absolutely wonderful about living in this century or in just 2022. This. YouTube there's, in general wasn't yeah, a thing in 1970. No, there's, there's absolutely wonderful things. And it's relative. Every generation has its own kind of thing. And of course there was people in the 70s. A lot of people who were watching this are gonna say, yeah, I was there in the 70s, who were wishing that they could go back to the 50s. I mean, I, I really do know that it's all relative. And it is fun to think about, would you go backwards or would you go forwards? But all the people who commented on that post that said, but you only have the time in the present, that is right. So it is fun to think about, but we are very nostalgic. I get super nostalgic and I have to try to be careful and not think about that too much because you really do only have the, the present time that you have and you shouldn't let anything, whether you're thinking about the past, uh, daydreaming about the past or the future, take away from the present. I'm really sorry. That one hurt. I'm she sorry. pinked my earring up pretty bad. I'm really sorry. And like I said, it is fun to think about but if you had a time machine to where you could go back, do you really think that time machine would be so advanced that you could go back and just do whatever you wanted? No, no. it would probably just be that you had to start over and relive and, everything. And, and I think some of it is the nostalgia of now, this perspective. I'm really big about perspective. So if we went back and lived in the 70s and the 80s, and we didn't know what we know about them now, we'd just be living like we are now. You know yeah, what I mean? It wouldn't it would be, be... It would only be good if you could go back... With back the mindset the past, now. With the mindset that you have now. And, 
you know, you're not going to be able to do that even if there was a time machine. It just wouldn't work like that. And a lot of people commented and said they would want to go back to fix things that they did in the past, regrets. And that's another main reason that I would want to go back. Sure, I have regrets that I would like to fix. But if you could go back and fix them, how would you learn from them to not do them again? Yeah, I mean, and this is life. It's live and there's no do-over. No, so, there is no, no do-over. Hey, that's the man on a mower smoking a pipe. Leave him alone. Yeah, he was smoking his pipe there, living his best life. But it's just interesting to think about. There's so many different perspectives. And I was so glad that I did that poll to get everybody's kind of input on it. Because it was different than what I thought. I mean, I thought almost like 100% of people would say, let's go backwards. And it, it wasn't. It was, I, I, if I went back to the poll, you can actually see the... The percentage there of which is which, but it's just really neat I mean, to think about, and it gives you a better perspective of living now. You can't go backwards, you can't go forwards. It's also interesting, though, to think about going forwards. Who knows what will happen in the yeah, future? Yeah, I don't care what's going to happen, to be honest. I ain't, I ain't about none of it. But I will say, I mean, everybody would say that because nobody likes to not know. Like, I could break my neck, I mean, whatever. Yeah, God forbid, but you just but, don't know. I will say the, the best advice I could give, and I don't know who would take advice from a 26-year-old, almost 26-year-old. Not but, even 26. But the best, if you don't hear anything I said, hear this. The best advice that I could possibly give is you create your own experience of life, and you are responsible for that experience. And if you're not having a good time, you should look in the mirror and point the finger at what you see in the mirror and uh, work it out with that person because it's up to you about how you feel and how you think and things aren't always perfect people aren't always dealt fair cards and that's not fair that there's there's people out there who don't have it as good as i do and vice versa but your own experience of of the collective um events that happen in your life is up to you and how you feel about it and your happiness you are personally responsible for that nobody else is so we would all love to go back and you know what in one way we go back every time we turn the radio on and hear the eagles or whoever we go back when uh we sit on that 1970s couch that me and nick bought or i mean stories that things you like that from your loved ones or right. anything like that that kind of transports you back seeing a movie that right. you've seen for the first time when you were a kid but right and that just has to be i mean it has yeah. to be good enough it's just fun to think about but i still want to stress that you still it's most important to live in the present and live right. where you're at and not think about backwards or forward like, positive. maybe we'll have more subscribers in the future so if you like this video subscribe and give us a thumbs up right Nadi? hold on come here Nadi. look at me look at the camera right right everyone <laughs> oh my gosh well we have talked to y'all's ear off i hope that this video will make you happy in some way that maybe you will enjoy it we always appreciate everyone watching and supporting us we love you all our youtube family so thank you for that drop a comment below let us know Bye. what you think <laughs> backwards or forwards god bless you god watch you god help you god give this one some prayers because she needs it Bye. 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 check Bye. the mail Bye.